Let's check in with our weather team right now and check in with Kate to start our latest coverage on the update on the Eastern number four. Thanks, guys. Well, let's take a look at the latest radar and satellite imagery right now because you can see this storm is not anywhere near over. And you saw some of the images that we were seeing there when we were talking to Carla of the roads across the region. A wide variety of what we're seeing right now, but a few of those cameras were showing near whiteout conditions on area roadways, especially right now across portions of western New Jersey into Delaware and near the city of Philadelphia, where the snow has started to really come down at those good clips. We talked about the banding that it was going to set up through the afternoon hours. That's exactly what we're seeing right now. A little bit of a lull in a couple of spots, but here are some of the heaviest snow that we've seen all day in the city of Philadelphia, Camden, Gloucester, Salem counties into Newcastle County, Delaware. Look at those dark purple shaded areas. That also includes even South Jersey, portions of Cape May County, Maurice River, Vineland, Millville, seeing that heavy snow and those low visibilities on the roads. So you really need to take your time out there if you have to be out. We keep saying it. I know some of you do have to get out. People do have to get to work. I understand that because here we all are working, but take your time. Leave yourself triple the amount of time it would normally take because even if you're good at driving in the snow, not everybody is and there is slow going. There are accidents out there and again that low, low visibility. A winter storm warning remains in effect. It is spring after all today. In fact, the first full day of spring. We started spring around noon yesterday at the vernal equinox, but now it's a winter storm morning. We still call it a winter storm because it's winter type precipitation, snow, ice and rain, along with those strong gusty winds from the strengthening nor'easter off the coast. So we don't have anything such as a spring storm warning, but if we did, maybe we would have that in place as well. It is really, really nasty outside. And again, this is not going anywhere anytime soon. This low is pretty much almost stalled off the coast right now, just not really moving at all. And you can see later this evening, those heaviest bands of snow will start to shift out over the open ocean. It's kind of where we want them. If the snow falls in the ocean, we don't have to shovel it. We don't have to plow it. We don't have to deal with it. But still a moderate snowfall happening at 7 p.m. It's still all the way built back into south central Pennsylvania down through Maryland, even at 7 o'clock tonight. So that's four hours from now. Even if you're talking a half inch per hour, you're still talking about at least two more inches of snow, more likely four, five, six more inches of snow by 7 o'clock in a few spots. Starting to see a band ramp up here, even down the shore could look like it's coming to an end and then you pick up an inch or two in an hour even at 11 o'clock. So the shore will get their snow late but should get in on some of those locally higher amounts. And finally by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning we see some heavy snow up in Boston and New England. But for our region the sun comes out and we'll be talking clean up getting outside cleaning off the cars, possibly a delay for the kids. Certainly tomorrow, some kids possibly having the day off tomorrow, depending on how quickly we get this snow cleaned up. Temperatures right now hovering around the freezing marks. So you can see why we've been having mis mixing issues at the shore. Temps are in the mid 30s. You got to get those really, really high snowfall rates to get the snow to accumulate when temps are above freezing. And sometimes when you get those heavier bands of snow, it actually makes its own cold air. It pulls down that column of cold air and causes temperatures to crash. So if and when that happens down the shore, that's when you're going to start getting your accumulation. But it's certainly cold enough for this snow to continue piling up in the city and points north and west with temperatures hovering around 31 degrees. That's why we have a heavy wet snow. We look at the temperature to kind of determine the ratio or the feel of the snow. When it's in the teens, low 20s, you're getting those smaller snowflakes, that light fluffy snow. When it's near freezing, you're getting those big fat wet snowflakes and they can pile up quickly. And not only that, they can weigh down the tree branches and weigh down the power lines, leading to once again, the risk for power outages and we've had ice as well. Here are some ice amounts from last night and this morning. This doesn't look like much. I know you may be thinking two tenths of an inch, but when you're talking about ice, two tenths of an inch of ice accreting on tree branches, power lines on the roads on your front porch, that is serious icing. Middletown, Hamilton, Thornton, Landenburg, even two one hundredths at the Philadelphia airport. Lots of ice overnight. There's a crunchy, icy base to the snow, making it difficult to shovel out there. So your storm impacts through the remainder of today still high snowfall. We had the ice early. That's likely not much of a threat for most of us, although the farther south you head into South Jersey and Delaware, ice could still be a threat. Wind is a moderate risk with this storm. Unlike the first storm where we had those wind gusts over 60 miles an hour, likely going to see gusts in the 40 mile an hour range with this one. And outages are still possible when you couple that heavy wet snow with those strong gusty winds. Snow so far. Let's recap a few totals that we've been getting in. We've been trying to update these as they come in, starting to see a few more rolling down 
down the pike. So Coopersburg, which is uh, near Center Valley up in the Lehigh Valley, just south of Bethlehem, we're looking at nine inches of snow already on the ground. West Rock Hill Township at eight inches of snow. West Callan Township in Chester County, 6.7 inches on the ground already. Newark, Delaware at 5.8. Mount Laurel at 3.9. I have an unofficial measurement as well from my dad in Phoenixville, Chester County at five and a half inches on the ground. And we did have a report of 4.9 in Newcastle in Delaware. So we're sharing the wealth with this system. It's all over the place. It doesn't matter where you are. The shore hasn't had quite as much, but now South Jersey really getting in on the heaviest snow. So on the roads, red light for travel this evening. The heavy snow will continue overnight. The snow tapers, but the messy roads stick around. And for your Thursday, watch for those icy spots in the morning. We'll give you the yellow light. You're going to see some sun. Sun glare off the freshly fallen snow could slow you down as well. And the roads still slushy, still icy, especially those back roads. Any area that doesn't get plowed, it's going to be a slow go through the overnight hours. Spring snow is not out of the question for us, though. In fact, this will likely not even be our biggest spring snow. The biggest one we've ever had was back in 1915. That's on record, at least since records have been kept in the 1800s. 19.4 inches likely will break this record, though. The most snow we've ever had on record on this this date, March 21st, was 4.7 inches. Biggest March snow, March snow, now not counting April, March snow on record was a foot, and that was the blizzard of 93, March 13th and 14th of 1993. So we got to keep watching that airport total to see if we make a run for that record. But the snow keeps on falling through the next several hours. You're just watching it pile up. We want you to send us your photos, hashtag CBS3Snow. We want to hear from you, see your measurements. You're our eyes on the ground, and of course, an open call, as always, to our weather watchers to keep those great observations coming. You can, Jess, we'll send it back over to you. Yeah. Yeah, the reporters the weather watchers have been really Indeed. helpful they in really all of this, have. Kate. Really Thanks have. so much.